The power rule on a function chain, like its name suggests, merges together two other derivative rules, the power rule and the chain rule, into a single easy step. All right, so let's say that we would like to calculate the derivative of u to the power of n, where u is a nested function. Well, we can simply take the power rule as we usually would, so n becomes n minus one, and then we bring n in front of u, and then we multiply all of that by du dx, where u in here is some function of x. Let's look at some real numbers to make sense of this. So let's say we have this nested function where y is equal to three x plus one squared. So this is the same function that I gave you in exercise three in the preceding video. And I think you'll see that by using the power rule on a function chain, we can find the solution more rapidly. So we start off in the same way as before with the usual chain rule, where we break this function up into its separate nested functions. So the inner function is 3x plus 1. So let's set that equal to, say, u. And then the outer function is now we're not going to need to worry about calculating its derivative. We can simply consider that n is equal to 2. So this means we're only going to have to calculate a derivative once, the derivative of the inner equation. We won't need to calculate the derivative of the outer equation, where y is equal to u squared. We can ignore that completely. So calculating the derivative of 3x plus 1, 1 is a constant, so that becomes 0. 3x, according to the power rule and the constant multiple rule, becomes simply 3. And then now we can make use of our new power rule on a function chain. So according to that, dy dx is going to be equal to this equation here. And so we can simply substitute in all of the variables that we have. So n is equal to 2. Our power is 2. So we put that 2 in front here. And we put 2 minus 1 as the power up here. We drop in u, 3x plus 1 here. And we multiply all of that by du dx, which we've now calculated and determined to be 3. Then multiplying through, so 3x plus 1 to the power of 1, that's just 3x plus 1. And we can multiply each of these terms by 2, which gives us 2 times 3x is 6x, and 2 times 1 is 2. And then finally, we can multiply this 3 in. 3 times 6x is 18x, and 3 times 2 is 6. The same answer that we got when working through this with two derivatives in the earlier video on advanced exercises on derivative rules. So as a final exercise, you can repeat questions four and five from that preceding video from the advanced exercises on derivative rules video, but instead use the rule that we just covered here. And I think you'll see that you can tackle those questions more quickly. Congratulations. We've reached another major milestone in my machine learning foundation series. Having become familiar with how differentiation works in segment two, on derivatives and differentiation, you're ready to move on to segment three, which is on automatic differentiation, a computational technique that allows us to scale up the calculation of derivatives to the massive function chains that are common in machine learning. In segment two on derivatives and differentiation, we covered the delta method. We covered the differentiation equation, which follows from our understanding of the delta method. We quickly looked at various ways of notating differentiation, and then we dug into differentiation rules like the power rule, the constant multiple rule, the sum rule, the product rule, the quotient rule, and finally, the all-important chain rule. Recalling that we're currently undertaking subject three of eight subjects in my Machine Learning Foundation series, that subject's on calculus, limits, and derivatives, we have just completed the second segment of three in that subject. Up next is automatic differentiation. To be sure not to miss the next video in this series, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for taking part in this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and comment. To be sure not to miss any of my content, head to johncrone.com and sign up for my email newsletter. You're also welcome to add me on LinkedIn, 
simply mention that you're a viewer of the Machine Learning Foundation series. And finally, you can follow me on Twitter too if that's your social medium of choice.